Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more Rebel Inc. Escalation Custom Scenarios. Today we are returning to a series of scenarios that we played before, but uh, obviously in my absence from uh, YouTube for about a month or so, a few more were released that I have missed and I want to get back on the train. So Capital State is a series that currently has five scenarios out. I've played two of them. So this is number three, let's jump into it and see if it continues a pretty good streak of very good scenarios. This is the third installment here, set in the future, 4288. The War of Arena continues in full force. Constantly moving up and back, neither side has a substantial advantage. The Empire lacks the numbers to decimate, and the enemy lack the technology to arm their trillions. However, some of the insurgent supporters are far more intelligent than they're given credit. The strategists have eyes where would never be deemed possible to get there. A little bit of an awkward phrase there, but okay. They have the intel, the entrance, and the window. Some enemies have shifted to the nearby capital of Mira, a hub of enterprises and 40% of the Empire's war funding. If they destroy this settlement, the war is as good as done. A perfectly timed strike will make defending the region difficult. The newest wave of soldiers have just been deployed and it will take time to recover sufficient forces to push back a full-scale invasion. Don't let your guard down to cover every angle. This is gonna be fun, we're playing as the banker. Oh, okay, um, hmm. So let's change some of this up. I think I'm gonna go for the logistics expert so that we are able to move our troops around pretty quickly. Everything else here seems reasonable as is, normal difficulty. And I didn't even see what the name of this operation is, but that's okay. All right, so we are playing as the Empire. We're protecting basically our financial hub. And oh my Lord, that is a lot of modifiers at the top. Okay, military focused government supplies all our needs to combat the insurgents. So we're gonna need really good troops and lots of them. Money's not going to be an issue. Just watch for inflation. Soldiers are stationed in the area with strategic bases and artillery? Really? Okay. And then jobs and work initiatives are already in place. Well, that's all very good. Now let's take a look at some of the bad stuff. The insurgents won't back down. Okay, so that means peace is never going to happen. Experts at strategy, they flee from air attacks and across water. I hate when that happens, but okay. That could mean that airstrikes actually help me in some ways and that it chases insurgents out of a zone, but it also will make it difficult to corral them, so I'm not a fan of that arrangement. Uh, the enemy has an objective. They hide in the dark to attack urban areas. So if they're in an urban area, we're not going to be able to see them very well? They're hidden? Oh, that's going to suck. Okay. Insurgents can assist their comrades with long-range attacks and debilitating effects so they can support other zones, and they can attack across many zones to get to urban areas. So these urban areas are going to be under constant assault, is what you're trying to tell me. That's going to be very, very unpleasant indeed. Okay. Oil derricks will be around. People are going to be demanding lots of stuff. Roads are super slow. We cannot lose an embassy. Uh, bombing cannot work in urban areas. Corporations increase corruption. Superiors will not send me more budget. I have to source it all locally, so the oil derricks are more important than ever. Garrisons can't be built unless major building reallocation. Okay. Census fakes. So corporations lie and we don't gain intel very quickly. Uh, a train line connects districts. Be wary of who comes out of them. What train line? I have no idea what that means. And then terrible security. This is going to be rough. All right, where do you place down our HQ? Uh, we could place it here and defend a couple urban areas and then maybe crush these guys early. That could be good. Yeah, let's go ahead and set up like that. We actually start with the garrison as well. We have a couple of units to play with. Um, let's take a look at our options first before I commit to launching these guys in here. But obviously, if we can crush this group and kick them out, that would make life better. It said they could retreat across rivers. It didn't say they could attack across rivers. So that seems important. For civilian, we have humanitarian stuff that leads to basic life sustainability, okay, and then national culture and vers versatility, okay. Those are free, so we might as well pick them up. Uh, site census, reduces hostility but slow to roll out, education, health clinics, and water. All of that makes sense, but cannot be destroyed by its insurgents. Fascinating. This is usually very important in these desert maps, so I'll pick that up. We have actually several things it looks like that are firing off automatically. So we already control all these, we just have to roll them out in all of the zones. So lots of jobs and some security. Fun. We also have electricity and we have telecoms. And also, uh, civilian initiatives are very effective at turning the hearts uh, and population to your side. However, corporations cause significant corruption. Yay, that'll be great. Government, we have outreach. Let's pick that up immediately because if we have so many initiatives, I need to roll these out as fast as possible. Corporate expansion teams also speeds out the rollout of initiatives. 
cost reputation, but I'm okay with that. Let's do that. The more initiatives we have to start with and the faster we roll them out, the more support level I'll gain at the beginning of the game. Probably should pick up effective procurement. Uh, Anti-corruption, maybe. Inflation's already very high, so I need to be careful about that. Military. So we have corporate knowledge. Soldiers increase support level. That'll be good. We have airstrikes and drones. Normal. Diplomatic indifference. To unlock more national soldiers, we need diplomatic and security initiatives. Interesting. Okay, so expert speech explanations are in the military sector and diplomatic outreach in the government sector allow us to deploy more units. And then we have obvious convoys. The enemy have eyes outside the battle zone and will try to slow our advances. With many soldiers being transferred at once, their convoys are easy to discover and require slow, cautious movement. It's not recommended to apply two different squadrons of a single kind with risks of slowing this first team. Not recommended to apply two different squadrons of a single kind. So you're saying don't train up two gold, uh, green units at once. Okay, so if that's the case, and these are going to train up slow, and I need to quickly start training them before it's too late. There's the extra option to get more units. Okay, so let's start by training up some units here. That spends pretty much all of my money. I do need to get some anti-corruption. So how fast do you train? Semi-fast. We can start by sending the coalition troops here, the national troops here. If we successfully deploy this, it will force anyone over here, if there's an ambush, to cross the river, and this area should be clear and safe from here on out. Then we just have to focus on defending the rest of the urban areas, I think. I think that's how it's going to work. All right. Well, anyway, um, so anti-corruption would be nice. It's going down a little bit, but still kind of slow. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Remember, we are reliant upon the local uh, funds. So we're not going to have a proper budget. We have to have lots of money stacked up as the banker. And also the oil derricks are going to be supporting me. Interest rate, financing, and oil. Classic. Let's go ahead and deploy some more troops real quick to make sure we have plenty of reinforcements since we seem to be struggling where we have no intel. I'll get some drones. That should help a little bit. And then... People want education. Let's go ahead and roll that out. Insurgents retake the zone. Should be fine. There's an insurgent camp. We may need to get airstrikes, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, do that as soon as we have 13 bucks, which is right now. Dodoinkus. Bomb that camp. Get oh, the camp actually survived that hit. Ooh. We're not getting full reinforcements because I don't have intel here. That's part of the problem. But now we do, and these guys did not retreat across the river like they said they would. That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Let's start by grabbing some of these specialists. I know I'm going to need that. We should also start training up more troops right away. I'm seeing corruption, by the way, is going down very quickly. So corruption doesn't feel that threatening, if I'm being completely honest. Um, this would incre reduce corruption, but makes initiatives more expensive. No, thank you. Uh, people want health care. We'll go ahead and pick that up. What's this? Citizen assistance. Increase initiative rollout at the cost of reputation. And we increase, uh, sorry, reduce corruption. Um, again, sacking some reputation to roll out initiatives faster doesn't seem that bad. I do think we need to get some security going, because there's a lot of zones here, and if we're traveling slowly... Oh, see, these guys are actually invisible in the zone. We need to deal with that. Let's deploy you real quick. And I guess we'll just go ahead and deploy you like so. Let's move you over here and defend this. I do not relish the idea of them uh, destroying this blockade, so I'm a little bit scared of that. But let's see what happens. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get some security. My fear being... That uh, there's so many zones and we're traveling slowly, we need security in order to actually hold these guys off until I arrive. Looks like we killed a lot of these units. That's nice. Let's get down here and make sure we defend this. I want to have blockades so that they can't flee. I guess we need to try to clear out this cave, which is going to take a while. But that's another oil derrick that is cleared out for me. So that's more funds that will be coming in. So that's exciting. Um, beyond that, support level, we'll do that in a little bit. We got some time. This is diplomatic outreach and lets me start getting more units, right? Yes. Okay. Permanent Squadron Unit 2 takes 12 months to arrive. The urban sprawl trained their soldiers to be exceptional at moving through towns and cities undetected. So again, I feel like we need to train up as many soldiers as quickly as we can. So we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and deploy a rural specialist over here. Again, rural. It's just such a hard word to say. Grab you. So that opens up new units. What's this? Black Market Standards increases strength but reduces cost of military and civilian initiatives. Ooh, I'm okay with the corruption. We burn that down quickly. If it makes everything cheaper, that's a great deal. Heck yes. All right, so they're taking over the mountains over here. Not surprising. This, these stinking caves, dude, they are taking a long time. Let's get in here and start trying to gather up some intel where we can. Grab you. So that makes everything cheaper, right? 
And this increases Sojil movement speed. Okay. So all of that'll be helpful. Um, we need to start training up more units. And quickly, if possible. Um, let's get up here in the mountains and try to get some intel in this region next. So this is $15 instead of $16. Or whatever. Maybe it was $20 before. I don't know. Feels like it's a reasonable enough price. Let's just keep trading up more units as fast as we can. Subtle pressure, because we did start off with the Foreign Relations Office. Whoa! Okay, there's a lot of guys over here. We need to get rid of that quickly before they take that out. Increase the pay? Sure, absolutely. There are tunnels. Ah. Oh, there's a tunnel right here. Oh, no! No, 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 no. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like tunnels in cities, especially in urban areas where I can't see enemies as they are attacking. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, um... We could hoard some currency. I'm going to increase the hostility and get some PR. What does that unlock? An independent travel team. Interesting. Um, hmm. I want to train up more units, but I can't at the moment. Uh, they're about to destroy this embassy, and we're too slow. Are we about to lose? Ooh, that was close. That was really close. Wow, 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 wow. Let's improve their movement speed. I, I thought for sure we were about to lose it right there. What does this do? Drones increase soldiers' strength in areas as they're scanned. That's usually good. Remove information decay so insurgent zones don't remove intel. Pretty helpful. Our, our support level is still really low. We need to start building that up. I cannot believe we barely defended that embassy. That's amazing. Now they're about to attack some other ones, I think. Let's get over here. Um, yeah, we travel too slow. Was there an option to boost up our infrastructure? No. What about this? No. That's not going to help me much, then. Um... What else do people want? More healthcare? We're already working on that. Don't worry about it. Let's go for some more security. Try to make it harder for exactly situations like that to happen again. There's a tunnel right here that has been hit. Um, they can pop up over here anytime they want, can't they? I need to try to defend this oil, Derek. Make sure we save that money. $21 is what I'm going to ne need for the next uh, soldier. But this one's not done training yet. It's taking a long time to train. We could start going for coalition troops instead, and I think we will, just so I can get on top of this. As long as we're not training more than one of a specific type, it said that we would be okay, right? Pretty sure that's what it said. Oh, no, 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 no! I didn't even notice this embassy down under here was under attack! Oh, we're gonna lose! Gosh dang it, my movement is so slow, because we have, like, no intel. Yep, yeah, that's a loss right there. I think. I assume? Yeah. Ah. Alright, hang on, let me restart that. Okay, something I'm doing a little bit differently here this time around. I did go for the black market standards extremely early to try and make everything else cheaper and make my dollars go a little bit further. I'm not sure that was the right choice, though, because it slowed me down in other ways. That said, though, we also picked up corporate knowledge because I think trying to increase support level could end up being helpful, and that led to contractual integrations. Soldiers will now generate income, but also corruption. As long as we can deal with that corruption, that doesn't bother me too much. Because we're going to be able to uh, keep that under control and just get lots of money, which lets me do more things. Economic intervention reduces inflation growth, costs reputation. I really would rather not do that. Value reset resets inflation. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't know why we're so worried about inflation. Inflation obviously sucks, but I, I'd rather not mess with it right now. Thank you. Uh, let's do some more subtle pressure along over here. Trying to keep these guys clear out of the tunnels as much as possible. What's going on over here? Something happened. We lost intel there. Did not go for the drones. Um, I am going to focus on training up units as fast as possible, mainly because, you know, if, if we don't, uh, then we're going to get swamped. And these take so long to train, no matter what. Like, you kinda, you're kind of in a nasty spot if you don't have some more people. Plus, more soldiers now means more money. So the more we train up, including some of these um, coalition troops, I imagine the better our position is going to be for at least a little bit. Uh, let's see. I want to keep some troops here to make sure that no one retreats through this tunnel. So these guys might just get parked for a bit, which is one reason that having them generate some extra support level seems pretty helpful. I like these guys retreating over here. That was great. We are under attack at this embassy, so we need to make sure we snag one of those. There's another wave of soldiers we can get here. Um, okay. More security would be great. I'm going to modernize this. Let's roll out as much security as possible and slow these guys down. We just need to keep them off the dang embassies. I don't like the idea of them running rampant all over the place, sure. But as long as we don't lose an embassy, we can win. We'll be all right. I just have to keep them away. So let's see. I'm going to start getting some intel in these regions so we can move around a little faster. A drone might help with that. That said... What does this do? 
Oh, right. This is kill the insurgents and stuff when... No, we don't want to do that. Um, let's get some PR going, at least a little bit, to boost up that support level so we stabilize zones. The less hostilities there are, usually speaking, the less uh, insurgents you're going to have to worry about, which is pretty important. We are heavily under attack over here, but we're okay so far. We're pushing them back into these mountains. Good, good, good. Everything's looking fine. Keeping this under control, I'm seeing developed security pop up in places, which means my security level goes up. People are asking for water. We've already got that. I didn't do this, though, so let's go ahead and roll out initiatives faster. And then beyond that... Um... Oh, we're not training any units right now. Darn it! Hang on. Ah, that's the thing I'm worried about, is messing that part up. Okay, they're fine right here. We can run in here and kill this pretty quickly, and they can't retreat, so they're just going to die. How these guys even popped up over here, I don't know, but that's a lot of deaths for you. Oh, it's a tunnel. Right, they use a tunnel network. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? All right, so that's all taken care of. Good. We've got a stabilized zone, like that. I don't know if we need to pop this, but if we're ever looking overwhelmed, this could be helpful to me. I really would like to get a lot more security. Black Seal privateering... Doesn't seem that bad, it's just really expensive, but it greatly increases security. Could do the experts. I'm gonna go for strategic communications levels 2 and 3 instead. Just enjoy a lot of extra support network. So let's keep an eye on this embassy, for example. This one I could easily see myself losing track of. This one over here we're fighting over repeatedly. Keeping these guys out of here, which is great. Ah, now the coalition troops have to leave and we cannot, um, we cannot extend them. So that's going to become an issue pretty quick. Let's run back up over here. Got to keep an eye on this. We should be fine, though. Get some intel back over here. We're losing intel very rapidly, and that's annoying. Let's get drones. That should help a little bit to get us some idea what's going on. Purity policy. Now, none of these things seem useful, and I don't see the need to do more civilian initiatives. I mean, we could, but, like, does it really get me that much value? I don't think so. I think it's much better to instead be using, let's say, ambient presence and stuff so we don't lose intel. And also just increase uh, soldier strength. And also, short-range recon, reduce cooldown of drones at the cost of 10 reputation. There's a lot of double-edged swords in this scenario, I'm noticing. A lot of opportunities to just make things easier on you or a lot harder. There's always a cost, though. That's kind of interesting. I like that. Uh, I would really love to clear these guys out, if we can. With some soldiers here, they wouldn't be able to retreat across a river. So that could be nice. Maybe we can go for an aggressive push this way. See if we can cut these guys off, put them in a corner, and kill them all off. Right? That could be useful to me. Uh, let's get airstrikes. We can take out camps. Though they survive initial hits, so that's going to be irritating. So far, though, this is going way better than my previous attempt. Much, much, much better indeed. So, okay, they're trying to attack this embassy. We should be able to run in there. Let's train up some more troops. Never stop. Next, I'm going to go for the expert speech explanations and see if that offers me an opportunity to get some more troops. Increase the pay. Of course, always want to keep them nice and strong. Insurgents are now splitting off into multiple groups. That's annoying, but it's all right. We're going to punch right through them. The drones make a huge difference. Uh, so those guys get split off. Good. Now, we should be able to use you to go clear this group out. Then we can focus on these mountains. I think. Uh, what's this? Miniature echelon integration, increasing soldier strength further. Nice, but instead we're going to do this. That leads to defensive structure mandate. We can unlock garrisons at the cost of a reputation. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Then there's construction priority, which takes even more. Okay, but I can place down garrisons now, so, I mean, that's fine. I'm going to place one right here because it's a good spot that keeps them split so they don't take over these deserts and join them up with the mountains. I think. More solid pressure will work fine. Okay, just waiting on these guys to arrive. Uh, we're going to do a cover-up, 30% chance. Ouch! I was afraid of that. These coalition soldiers, unfortunately, are not very reliable. We don't have a lot of time to make use of them. So, I'm a little bit wary of this. You guys are going to go back over here. I need to take this group out. I don't like the idea of leaving the tunnel behind, but we're going to accept it. Can always train up more coalition troops if I need it. Um, what's this? Increase flight duration. Scan multiple zones. That could all be useful. Eh... I don't know. Corruption, I'm surprised, has not been an issue at all, considering what we're going through right now. its I imagine that it's supposed to be a lot worse with these contractual integrations, but it's been completely fine. Do I lose even more reputation in order to place down more garrisons a lot faster? I think the answer is no. We're going to go for bailout marking, because apparently we're really bad shots and we're hitting civilians, and that's a problem. 
These guys die off. That's great. This place has been taken care of. Let's go and... Honestly, what do we want to do with these guys? Do they even control a tunnel? I don't know where the tunnel are or the other tunnels are that they might be using. Let's go get some intel in these regions and see what happens. That seems okay. And then beyond that... Um... We could go for the Black Steel Private Contracting. It would definitely mean that these guys pretty much never take a zone over again. Man, we move slow. Look at that. That is just unforgivably bad. Maybe we can start pushing into some of these mountains. Start pushing these guys out into another corner and see if we can clear this group out. We have a garrison to support plus this guy, so maybe that would be the right way to go. I don't know. I'm going into this blind. I'm just doing my darndest. Hey, look. Morris waves the soldiers. Not more national soldiers, but more coalition soldiers. And they'll remain in the region for four years. That feels like more than enough time. Call me crazy, but it does. Hey, an urban specialist. I like that idea. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pick you up. Actually, I just realized, did we... We didn't get any other specialists. Is that random every time, or are they all hidden in the desert? We actually didn't get any urban... Spe uh, any uh, rural and uh, remote specialists like last time. All right, well, this group got cleared out, so that's all set. Then we're going to move you guys over here. There's a cave we have to worry about now. More subtle pressure will work fine. You'll go ahead and pull back. We've got a lot of money. Playing as the banker means we should start getting more and more money as time goes on. Let's make these drones better. Oh, I didn't mean to do that last one. Oops. Well, we reduced their cooldown. It's going to cost me some reputation, but that's fine. Drones for days! Scanning lots of zones. We have eyes in the sky! Blow up those camps, dang it! Hey, look, another specialist. There you go. Uh, you go grab it, actually. And there are oil derricks all over the place. For some, for some reason, I feel like the insurgents really haven't been that bad this time around. Oh, take it back. They got on caves. All right, they use the tunnels here to escape into multiple areas. Very frustrating. Let's boost up our national soldier strength. And I'm going to start training up some additional coalition soldiers, because why not? You're going to go here. You're going to go here. Let's just go ahead and clear those groups out. Actually, I take... Well, I'm okay with making these guys retreat, but actually... We should try to clear out these mountains. That's what we should do. Let's go ahead and deploy another urban specialist, since that's actually kind of the most important thing for me to defend. We'll place one right there, for example. I'm okay with you guys being here, because there is a roadblock, so you'll just die. Um, Publicly accused still doesn't have a very good chance of success, so I want to ignore that for the moment. Now we can move you there. Uh, if I move you here, these guys won't be able to retreat into other mountains. Ah, they're doing it anyway, and we have to send you home. Darn it. All right, these guys now stick around, and we're going to train up some more soldiers. And I actually am going to go ahead and do Frost Nova Overcost and just get rid of a bunch of insurgents, which is going to make all these fights a little bit easier and faster right now. I'm going to move you. Now nah, you have to stay on these tunnels. Darn it. I don't want these guys retreating through a tunnel, but I don't have a way, way of controlling it, really. We're going to pay the ransom of a journalist, which gets me some reputation. I am sitting on a ridiculous amount of money. Let's increase their strength. Let's make airstrikes just better. Airstrikes, I mean, we have unbelievable levels of inflation, so I guess I can't do anything about it right now, but there we go. So these guys all die. There is a tunnel, but that's at least been taken care of. This guy can now move elsewhere. We'll move you here. Move you here, and then I guess in a little bit we might want to go clear this group out. Let's place a garrison down right here. It's a pretty good spot. And that means that I can now move you forward like this. We can clear this group out. Okay, you go here, since apparently they decided to run immediately for the urban zones. We have some sense of where the enemy is now. They're in the corner. Fund the military once again. Why not? Okay, security should be super strong here. It can handle this. It's zero strength, technically speaking. Let's go get intel of the last zones. And what is this? Compensated delay. At the cost of 35 reputation, uh, soldier deployments can finally be extended. Too expensive, not worth it. Good lord, there are so many waves that we can use. Let's go for more airstrikes and more air, uh, accurate airstrikes. There we go. So that'll clear this group out completely. This guy, surprisingly, is alive. And I don't understand how that's possible, but he is. Okay, so we're going to move you guys here. Clear out the groups. Hopefully getting some good support in these areas. Now let's take a look. Other tunnels. There's one up over there. Do they have access to another tunnel down in this corner? That's the only thing I don't know. If they do, then these areas are still at risk. If they don't, then I can pull people off and we can just go for it. Let's go for a public accusation. Darn it. Didn't work. There's a 40 summit chance that would happen, but there you go. Uh, what else? No, I don't want to reduce cooldown on those. That's all fine. Um, let's go for significantly more... Con um, uh, zone security. There's diplomatic extensions. That leads to more national soldiers. Okay. There is a tunnel. Aha! See? 
and these are the things that I was worried about. All right, so we're gonna have to find a way to deal with that. Um, we're gonna move you here, and if we can clear this group out, that'd be great. We're gonna arrest the warlord. Hmm. Who can I pull off of these tunnels? Only you, really. What's my zone security look like here? It should have been enough to take this guy out. All right, we're gonna run down here and we're gonna go for it. Let's try to take these guys down. Knock them away from this tunnel, then we'll have the freedom to go wherever we need to and we'll be fine. Overclock weaponry. I don't even know how one would overclock a weapon, but I am super duper down for it. That sounds so fun. Uh, can we kill these guys quickly before these guys leave? No, because that means they're gonna have a dang retreat avenue. Dang it all the freaking heck. Alright, we have to retreat with you. Um, I want to try to cover up this tunnel, because this is harder to control than this one. Uh, more subtle pressure. It turns out if you fail to uh, successfully accuse, it makes things harder, not better. Alright, so these guys are going to die. They're going to retreat to a lot of different places. Oh god, see, this is what I was talking about. I don't like tunnels! What a pain! Alright, train up more coalition soldiers. Significant increase in strength. Sniper support, eliminate them. That'll work, and I can't train up more units because this is just what I've got for now. Dang it all the heck, you guys are so irritating. All right, well, we've got this tunnel. We go here. We go here. You clear this out. And then I need another soldier, one more to hold on to this tunnel. And then they... Oh, no, wait, there's another tunnel here. Dang it! Oh, this is frustrating as heck. If only I had another garrison, this would be a little bit easier. Yeah, we're just gonna have to accept this as is. Move you here. Let's see if we can cut this off. No, wait, there's a tunnel here, too. Dang it all the heck. <laughs> Oh, uh, the developer of this scenario knew that he was creating something really freaking annoying. What's this, a tank? I don't need a tank. Let's train up some more national soldiers. I have way more soldiers than I know what to do with, and I still can't stomp these guys down because they're freaking everywhere, yo! This is annoying! Ah! Alright, well, let's go ahead and clear out this camp, and at this point, I think I can just go ahead and jump forward because this should be a foregone conclusion now, right? I think so. Okay, we finally were able to surround these guys, keep them away from the tunnels. Now all that's left to do is just get support level in the rest of the zones, make sure that any camps get smashed down immediately. And our soldiers don't have to roll out initiatives, they just straight out make people happy simply by their presence. So this shouldn't take very long at all. Well, I take that back. Why is this... Why is this so unstable? I don't know. That's weird. And there we go. That took a lot longer than I would have expected. Look how much cash we've got. $594 by the end of it. Wow. Five stars, but it took uh, 949 days to pull that one off. Ouch! A little bit on the unpleasant side. Um, this scenario is pretty good. It's tricky. There's a lot to pay attention to. It's easy to not pay attention and lose track and everything falls apart pretty quick. But, I'd say the main downside is it's... Um, a very drawn-out scenario. You need a lot of troops in order to cover that many tunnels. And then just overall, everything seems to actually build support really slowly. So it's it's fun. Just a bit on the slow side, I'd say. Hence the length of this video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.